for no matter how you know get it done 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 okay so i don't want this video to come across as the previous two videos that i've spoken at this particular point of my hero academia season five because i'll just be honest with you all i feel is pain all i feel is pain right now because i checked out the latest episode of my hero academia season five i want to say it was episode 18 if i'm not mistaken of this particular season and you know what i expected it was again from last week's preview we saw that it was going to continue and seemingly wrap up the endeavor agency stuff which it did so i was like all right dope stuff there really really cool but when that preview hit fam my emotions shattered into pieces because based on the preview for the next episode episode 19 of season 5 of my hero academia it seems like they're continuing on in the story and not looking back at this particular point at my villain academia the arc that all of the fans not all i don't want to say all because there's a lot of people that have been absolutely loving this season but a chunk of the fandom have been wanting Wanting to see have been you know screaming we want to see the my villain academia stuff we've been wanting to see it and based on the episode preview for next week it seems again they're just continuing on it's more about this kudo giddy situation now which is kind of crazy because i felt like that chapter was so freaking recent and already seeing that they have it in the anime and shit it's nuts to me i'm like whoa so really really interesting stuff there but now what does that leave us with right because at that point again that's episode 19 after my last videos i noticed that this season of my hero academia was actually actually confirmed if i'm not mistaken for 25 episodes so it seems as though after that episode assuming that it doesn't touch any of my villain academia within that episode which it doesn't seem to be the case that will leave us with about six episodes left 20 21 22 23 24 25 so six episodes left as i said in a previous video my villain academia is roughly 21 chapters a little bit more for a little extra appearances from certain characters but for the most part about 21 chapters so that would mean that each episode of My Villain Academia, assuming that it's going to take place following that episode, would have to have five chapters in each episode now granted there's action a lot of action in my villain academia so there's a big possibility that you know it could kind of fly by certain aspects however from my experience with manga and adaptations for the last decade or so from naruto days you know watching it weekly and seeing how much was adapted uh, one piece and how it struggles to adapt the full-on chapter i know that the perfect balance for an anime adaptation is about two to three chapters an episode that's usually the sweet spot of not too much not too little like one piece does too little for majority of the time well not wano recently wano for whatever reason wano has just been godlike with the adaptation but par for the course with one piece up until wano has been one chapter an episode really really slow paced a lot of people have had their issues again excluding wano one piece is a whole different animal now i don't know what's going on but that's been kind of bad for one piece with the pacing that's why people have had their issues with it and then other series they'll do like a bajillion chapters and then catch up and then you know all of that jazz so again two to three chapters five chapters an episode assuming that they're going to do my villain academia because here's the thing there's been reports that said that there was already a theme song called like liberation army or something along the lines of that that was created for season five it was like announced by some of the people behind the season from the studio which kind of signifies that we're more than likely still going to be getting my villain academia and that's kind of bizarre because it's like okay wait a minute so if we're gonna get all of my villain academia it's going to have to be within again these last few episodes which i don't know that that's going to be really really rushed and now we're really in crunch time like i already had my issues a, a few weeks back when i said like yo eight episodes are they gonna be able to do it now we're looking at potentially six episodes who knows how many even after that if they are going to do my villain academia to be honest with you i at this particular point don't want them to do my villain academia this season i rather they just keep on going getting close to the war and start off next season really strong with high quality art and animation for my villain academia like do a flashback before the big war starts or whatever the heck you know like do something like that because my villain academia deserves the best it deserves justice it doesn't deserve to go out this way that is looking like that it's going to be a rush job and <sighs> it's such a freaking shame and i think a lot of this is not only to do with because yes the movie does play a factor in all of this the movie that they're putting out and how they wanted it to line up with the endeavor agency arc because it's supposed to take place around there like that does play a factor but another thing is the fact that the japanese audiences over there first of all they're really liking this shit like they've loved season five while over here a lot of the west have hated it they really like that shit over there it's doing great ratings wise but also something that japanese media doesn't like to push forth 
is stories that make the villains sympathetic, especially in this capacity of a mainstream series like My Hero Academia, like the story of the villains and you feeling bad for them and showing them in a different light because I guess maybe it's something to do with political agendas. I don't know exactly you know, about Japanese culture like that, but that's something that, from my understanding, is not a big thing that they like to push over there. It's like these sympathetic stories for villains and things like that, especially something on the scale of My Hero Academia that is a top 10 viewed anime every week. So the audience is going to reject it the people pushing it are going to reject it overall it looks like horikoshi did something great that we love over here but japan is not really trying to see that shit especially amongst like a big movie that's coming out right now with the world heroes mission stuff the uh, you know good publicity that they're getting you put in the story that's making like you know killers and shit murderers feel sympathetic it might get a little bit of people rubbed the wrong way so maybe that's also to play a factor in it again it's looking like we are still going to get my villain academia in these last handful of episodes which I hope not. I really hope not. I, at this point, just skip it and start it off in the next season as a big flashback with beautiful art and animation because if not, which again, they already showed that there's a score named Liberation. We're probably going to get a rush job and it's probably going to be a disaster for again, one of the better, if not best arcs of My Hero Academia, like Shigaraki, Toga, Twice. Y'all deserve so much better than what y'all been given. No. But I'm curious what you guys think about this at this particular point. Again, episode 19's preview is showcasing something totally different. Kuro Giri and stuff like that. It could lead into, like, okay, let's get flashbacks of the League of Villains and shit like that. It could lead into that. But, yeah, do you think we're going to get it? And do you think that with six episodes, is that enough to faithfully adapt 21 chapters? Considering usually, like, two to three chapters is the sweet spot for an adaptation to cram five chapters again assuming that after the Kuro Giri episode we jump into My Villain Academia you think that's going to be enough for people that maybe are more in the know of Japanese culture what do you think is the big reason behind it is it just strictly because of this film you think it has more to do with again the cultural impact of having like these sympathetic stories for these villains in a mainstream story like My Hero Academia and your overall thoughts of this do you think that they should have it still within this season or just skip it and start off next season strong with beautiful art and animation for this story that needs to be told and does deserves to be told in a proper light like it doesn't deserve what's going on right now it didn't deserve to get skipped and pushed to the back burner this is gonna leave a stain on my hero academia's legacy again if you like it and you enjoy it i'm not talking about you that is really awesome and i'm happy for you and i wish i was on your boat but I can't say that when one of my favorite arcs of the entirety of the story that I love, the characters that I love, like My Hero Academia, I really love the villains. Horikoshi, he has done a phenomenal job with these villains. And to see the story of these villains getting pushed to the back burner like this to the crammed end of the season is like, I better do this justice, fam. Somehow, some way, pull a rabbit out of a hat. Maybe because these are fights, they could just get straight to the point. <sighs> we gotta wait and see, but it's not looking good at all. And I am sad. Very, very sad. Yeah. So laugh for this one though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Hit that bell to get all notifications. And if you want to follow any of my other social media, links are in the description below. I'm from that world. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime and manga. All life, boy. Have an awesome day. Peace in and long live the villains, the League of Villains, Shigaraki, Toga, Twice, all of you freaking awesome people. If y'all were real, I would really, like, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> oh no, what have they done to our villains? Have an awesome day. <laughs>